Some breaking news regarding Volkswagen. Apparently, a new chief executive has been selected. He's the former chief executive of the Porsche division, uh, Matthias Mueller. Matt, I know that you've He's been. He's my namesake, to... basically. This is what I love. This is all, I just want to mention this is all according to the Wall Street uh, Journal that he's going to become the new uh, chief executive of Volkswagen. So, Matthias Mueller with some bleach blonde Bart Chilton hair there running <laughs> um, the most profitable unit of Porsche. The Porsche's brand. the most profitable brand for Yeah. Them. He runs Porsche, which was the most profitable car maker in the world until it got swallowed up by Volkswagen after Porsche, you know, attempted a takeover of Volkswagen. They turned it around on them. But, um, he is sort of the, has been the, the chosen one. How long one. has he been there for, uh, about? He's been at Volkswagen for 20 years. Okay. Or, you know, uh, so and, he's a and, veteran of the company. He's going to know where to look for the investigation. And he's a favorite of Wolfgang Porsche and Ferdinand Piech. In fact, when Piech tried, who was the former chairman of Volkswagen and kind of the venerable, you know, most important automotive figure in the world until a couple months ago, tried to, when Piech tried to throw out Vinterkorn as CEO, he had planned on replacing him with Matthias Müller. So that was originally in the cards, but then Vinterkorn had so much backing on the supervisory board, he was able to throw out Piech instead of chairman of Volkswagen. So. All right, but you were saying something interesting earlier today to me about how an investigation, which yeah. is, what, two years old by the Environmental Protection Agency, I mean, they have not just discovered yeah. this which makes this it, week. I think it's fairly ridiculous that Vinterkorn says he's got to start an investigation to figure out what's going on here, or that the board even well, says... Well, he's not going to start anything right now well, other but than his surely retirement. they know damn well what's going on here because yeah. EU regulators and US regulators started looking into this issue two years ago in 2013 and uh, already September 3rd they had admitted to the EPA that they were using defeat devices and had been cheating on the emissions so I mean, if you're the CEO of the company and you have to admit breaking the law 21 days ago and you still haven't figured out three weeks later exactly what happened, I just don't buy you as a credible CEO. And maybe that's why well, he had to step down. I was saying, particularly in as much as this is a consumer-facing brand. Absolutely. Right? So there, there are direct costs, which are fines and perhaps criminal probe, but also there's the indirect cost, which is the destruction of their reputation. Yeah, in a market which is arguably the most important in the world. Now, the, the funny thing is Volkswagen had just sort of been getting the U.S. market right as far as it, the, the overall company is concerned. Right. Audi, you know, had a scandal in the 80s and had to pull out of the U.S. market. Right. Now it's come back with force. Is, that the, is sales, that the area of the, of the Audi Fox? Uh, yes, yeah, and the Audi okay. 5000 had unintended uh, 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 acceleration, acceleration. Yeah. Um, in 83, 84. They pulled out of the U.S. market. Those, They've but, come back big time. So Audi's been doing incredibly well here. Porsche has been just ruling the roost in the U.S. But, those, but the issues that you brought up, those are issues that were not intentional, obviously. Right? Yes. Yeah, acceleration and so on. This seems to be a device and a software uh, that was installed in order installed to cheat specifically in order to break the law. Right. So they were looking to break the law with this device. Um, and at least at very least, as late as September 3rd, Martin Vinterkorn knew about it. Now, you got to guess that Matthias Muller, as chairman of Martin Vinterkorn's most important unit, must have known about this as well. Well, this is what I wanted to ask you because uh, the relationship between the companies. So you have uh, Matthias Mueller. The Wall Street Journal says he's going to be the next chief executive of Volkswagen. But what's the relationship between the brands under the Volkswagen umbrella? Do they speak to each other? Do they share parts? Absolutely, they, share they talk to each other. And yeah. definitely, you know, the uh, Volkswagen's Touareg yes. and Porsche's Cayenne, its most successful, at SUV, least as right, far as profit SUV. driving, uh, as far as revenue boosting uh, product are built in the same Leipzig factory. You know, um, obviously, they build a number of different products on the same platforms, and they have been trying to reduce the amount of platforms that they use. That's been a big push right. of Martin Winterkorn. But if, you're, but if you're talking about a potential of 11 million vehicles, which is the number that's been bandied about, right, it includes not only vehicles sold in the United Those States, are Volkswagen but Volkswagen and Audi diesels. Right. Uh, that is not something you don't tool up for. I mean, this is something that is in a huge production line, 
and they've got to know that this is something that they're installing. Why would they be installing it? Well, I think, so, I mean, the ECU is a fairly small, uh, the engine control unit right. is a fairly small piece of equipment that can easily be switched out if you need to, and the software on it can even be changed. Um, so the, the, the thing that they left out in the production of these clean diesels is the urea uh, liquid receptacle. So most diesel engines now have this fluid that they add right. that subtracts the nitric oxides right. from the exhaust. Before we, get to, before we continue in yeah. this one, I just want to mention that the BBC is reporting, as we would expect, uh, the UK government is launching an investigation into emission control. Add them to the list. Right? Add them to the list. So, and in fact, what was it? Uh, was the French it Carlos? are doing, looking into it. The Germans are looking into it. And Carlos Gons said, what, 20, he wants all 28 countries that are uh, subject to the EU regulations to launch their own investigations. Yeah. And to come together and, uh, I mean, all of these automakers would prefer if the EU would do it as one, you know, a one standardized policy. And the EU is looking into it uh, as well. But um, the point is, you, you feel, if you're a CEO who knows anything about your product, you have to wonder when uh, your clean diesel supposedly didn't pass emissions in 2008, and all yeah. of a sudden it's passing California emissions in 2009. Well, how did that happen? Is it magical? You know, are there leprechauns well, in we'll the have engine? To, well, we'll have to see if, if uh, indeed Matthias Mueller is going to be the uh, next uh, now, chief to be clear, executive his, of Volkswagen. His diesels, none of the Porsche cars are made with this kind of diesel engine, so he Correct. didn't have the issue. Right. All right. But but uh, the Wall Street Journal reporting that he is going to be the new chief executive of Volkswagen, Matthias Mueller, currently the head of the Porsche division. It's Matthias Mueller. I beg you. Thank Matthias. you. Matthias. Well, Matthias. you speak German, so yes. you're yes. your namesake. Yes. Matthias Mueller. All right. Well,